purpose of our engagement today is to bring some collaboration and cohesion between both Sinkis and Nevis as far as our buy into the 25 by 25 agenda as set by CARICOM. While we have two different departments and ministries of agriculture based on our constitution, we thought it wise that we approach this matter as one country as we are. And so as a federal minister, I would have engaged with the minister, Mr. Evelyn on Nevis, and we would have collaborated on the idea that Sankis and Nevis should move in one accord. And today we have brought our technical teams together so that we both can have a shared vision in our approach to the 25 by 25 agenda for Sankis and Nevis as one country. And I must say, discussions are going extremely well. And I believe that at the end of these discussions, we'll have a very well formulated plan as to how we would both contribute to one agenda for 25 by 25. I always say, based on the data, based on statistics and what we have already put together, Sinkis and Nevis will be recorded as a success story when CARICOM is announcing all stories about the agenda. And I look forward to seeing what is in the future for food security within the Federation. I thank you. I'm indeed very happy to be part of this meeting, this part of this initiative that is happening here today at the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park, um, where we have persons from the Ministry and the Department of Agriculture, both from St. Kitts and Nevis taking part. And of course, what we are trying to discuss here is an initiative, a part of a CARICOM initiative called the 25 by 25, where CARICOM countries, including St. Kitts and Nevis, is trying to reduce imports by 25% by the year 2025. And so what we are doing here essentially today is to meet, to knock heads together. Of course, we would have had some initial meetings prior to this one, but we decided to ident um, intensify what we are doing because what we need to continue to do is to identify crops, certain crops, livestock products, marine products that we think has the potential for us to increase our production locally so that we can have a reduction by 25% or even more than 25% by the year 2025. I think that here in St. Gates and Nevis we do have the potential um, to, to reach that target and so what we're also trying to do is to identify what our strength, our weaknesses, our opportunities and our threats are in terms of reaching those targets. And so we have a very good um, cadre of of agricultural experts I would say here today and we have been having some very rich discussions and I am hoping that um, as we continue these discussions that we will continue to coordinate very important for us to coordinate what is happening between both St. Kitts and Nevis and I, I am very confident based on what we have been doing over the past months over the past years that St. Kitts and Nevis can actually make a dent into the importation uh, my message has always been um, we need to produce more of what we eat locally and uh, I think that in essence is what we are trying to do.